Yes, well, uh, pertuzumab is already approved in the neoadjuvant setting for HER2 new positive patients. But the vast majority of women don't get treated in the neoadjuvant setting, they get treated in the adjuvant setting. Their cancer's already been removed, the lymph node's already been sampled with sentinel node biopsy, and they're going to be getting, chemo, most of them are going to get chemotherapy with trastuzumab. Problem is, in the triple positives, and the ones that are luminal triple positives, if you don't add in the pertuzumab, you're probably not helping them much. And so I think our study creates a excellent argument to the insurance companies to allow for pertuzumab to be giving, given in addition to trastuzumab in the adjuvant setting. And so this, I think it's gonna make a major impact in, in the majority of triple positive women. Um, and, and probably the subtyping, the molecular subtyping that we do, should probably be done um, on those patients that are triple positive routinely to see if they're that luminal subtype of triple positives. Because they really need pertuzumab and trastuzumab combination, even if it's the adjuvant setting. Right now, it's really only approved in the neoadjuvant setting, which is a small portion of patients. So I think it has a major impact in women with HER2 disease.